a lot of people talking about the, the fake gurus right now. And I, for one, love it. You have super talented YouTubers like Mike Winnett. You have Spencer Cornelius. You have, I mean, a bunch, a bunch of YouTubers and tons of people have done videos about this by now. Why these gurus, fake gurus, online fake guru, fake gurus. These are some fake gurus. You know, and I, for one, I welcome it. I want people to realize that there's no shortcut to success. But if you're gonna come into my house, okay? If you're gonna come into the fake guru dojo, you better be ready to talk to Sifu. Shifu. Shifu. You better be ready to be caught out if what you're doing isn't right. We've already done this with uh, Graham Stephan's take on fake gurus, but now we have another challenger, and this is gonna be our toughest opponent yet, Chris Hansen. Why don't you take a seat right over there? You heard me right, the legendary journalist, Chris Hansen from To Catch a Predator. I have looked up to this guy forever. He's an amazing investigative reporter, and nothing in this show will take away from that. But he, he stepped in. He stepped into the fray, stepped into the Coliseum, and as such, you know, we, we, we gotta talk because he released a video investigating work-at-home scams. This is Scam Report. Now, there's a lot of this I agree with. He talks about how the new economy has created more scams than ever. But the new economy has also spawned a new breed of criminal looking to make a quick buck at your expense. He talks about how these scams are getting more sophisticated and harder to spot. Some scams are glaringly obvious, but the worst ones are getting more sophisticated all the time. And he talks about the importance of doing your due diligence. It's hard to overemphasize the importance of research when embarking on a work at home business. And I have no problem with any of this. But then he decides we're gonna introduce someone else to the equation. Someone who operates a legitimate work at home business scheme. He used the internet to build a hugely successful business. The internet is a place where many people make a lot of money. Is it really just a matter of discipline? I'd always told myself I was gonna be an entrepreneur. I was, I was trying to make money on the internet for years. I mean, I, I spent four years, I didn't make a dime, and I was just trying and trying and trying. I didn't make anything. Just because it's marketed as, as free and easy and it can make, you know, a ton of money, don't just fall for any shiny object that's thrown your way. Who is this man, this legitimate businessman? For every single successful way to make money as an entrepreneur on the internet, there are a hundred ways to get ripped off. 100%, 100%. It's John Cristani. <laughs> there are more scams out there on the internet than there are legitimate opportunities by far. <laughs> oh my gosh! At, okay, let me try to explain what this is like. Let me put it in Chris Hansen terms. Imagine Chris Hansen created a show called To Spot a Predator, but then he invites a predator on the show to explain how to spot a predator. That's how ridiculous this is. John Cristani has been featured on this show many times. We've debated, we've done a bunch of shows. I'll put a few links in the description where you can watch uh, how we've covered him in the past, our public debate together. But this guy is not some squeaky clean work from home guy. Okay, let's check out this method to literally copy paste ads to make money. First off, you don't wanna run a business where you have to actually like buy products and like ship them out to people. You don't wanna have to do any work for it. Search for my last name because the product we're gonna be selling is actually my product. Get your kid on this, get your five-year-old on this. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Benjamin and his friend Benjamin and his friend Benjamin. There are more scams out there on the internet than there are legitimate opportunities by far. <laughs> and he's posing as like the spotter, the expert. He even wrote, he wrote a book about it and he's selling that book on the video. I mean, this could be your opportunity to work from home. Like Chris Hansen is selling the book. By now you might be wondering if a home-based business is the financial answer you've been looking for. To learn more and to reserve your copy of John Cristani's book, use the work at home hotline information you see on your screen below. And suddenly you realize that wait, this isn't an investigation. This is an infomercial. 
In fact, John Cristani calls it an infomercial for his product. Now that's weird because it's pitched as a report and an investigation. It's supposed to be about work, work at home job scams. This is Scam Report. But at the end, you find out that the whole thing is sponsored by Pendragon Labs. Sponsored by Pendragon Labs. The company that John Cristani owns. So John Crist, oh my gosh, it's so, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. So basically, John Cristani hired Chris Hansen to make a video about work at home job scams in which he puts himself as the expert that will explain how to spot a work at home job scam. But the entire thing is a pitch for his book, which is not actually a $1 book like he says it is, because it's a $39 a month uh, subscription fee that you're signing up for when you get the book. So, so the irony is amazing because Chris Hansen, he's supposedly investigating this while actually just pitching a scam. Because buying a book that ultimately signed you up for a $40 a month subscription fee, is that a scam? I, I would say so. Books normally cost 10 bucks. They don't have a $40 subscription fee attached to it. And it's amazing, guys. It's amazing because the stuff John Cristani says of like how you can spot a scam directly corresponds to his actual advertising on his own website. Look at this. Just because it's marketed as, as free and easy and it can make, you know, a ton of money, don't just fall for any shiny object that's thrown your way. So, I don't know, I kind of want to hear from you guys. Do you think Chris Hansen knew? Is, is he just kind of ignorant of who John Cristani is? Let me know in the comments below. And, uh, you know, as usual, guys. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.